June 13th, 2023, 11 hours, 47 minutes, 5 seconds. Akram, please, and fire. Uh, yes, sir. Um, I'm calling about 339 Lloyd Street. Okay. I am the owner. Um, I have been threatened twice now, just today. And um, they're, they said that they're going to come and I just had my house sighted. And now they're um, saying that they're going to come and take the siding off my house. And um, they want to know if it's okay to do that. The house at 339 Lloyd? Yes, sir. I have been threatened. Okay, who's who's threatening you? I don't know these people. If you know anything about what's going on at 339 Lloyd, there's been 113 phone ca- or calls out there for the cops that I know of. Um, um, like I said, I own the house, so I'm not sure what all is going on, but now they got me involved. Now they're calling me. Now these people are calling me and threatening me and going to... Um, how are they threatening you exactly? Well, wouldn't you... Uh, say it's threatening if somebody threatens you that they're going to come take the siding off your house? No. You no, don't law, think... No, no. The way the law works, looks as a threat is if they personally threaten you bodily harm. Threatening you to do damage is, is not a, a criminal offense. Well, either way, they're threatening to come on my property and take my siding off the house. Okay. Why Why would they do that? I don't... Because they're, they're trying to take everything... Uh, they've, take, they've taken... Everything off the porches. They've stolen. Pe- people have come on over and stolen everything off the porches, both porches. And um, then they were trying to steal uh, the lady that lives there's car. And they tried that two or three times. And um, let's see. Uh, okay. They're trying to get in my garage I, I guess, and steal. I guess the way I look at it is going the siding is not worth anything because it's probably vinyl. Correct. It is, but I just had it done. Okay, well, ma'am, 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 please don't yell at me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but this this is getting... I understand you're frustrated, okay, but I'm not going to be causing your frustration. No, you're not. Okay. I know you're not. Okay. There's, I don't mean people, to yell at you. There's people that they are saying they're going to do this. I, I'm trying to understand why they're trying to do this, and I'm understanding who's... Well, you'd have, to, you'd have to ask Chance Wilkins, which lives there... And it's his it's his loony friends on the on the web okay. or and the internet. Okay. So so basically you own this house at three three nine Lloyd and you sent yes, it to this person. Sally Wilkins. Okay. Which and which this, has a son. Okay, so yes. this person is causing destruction of your property more or less. Not not the guy that lives there, but his his well, it's because he's so-called there that it's because he's there that these people are destroying your property, correct? Um, I, I don't know about that. Um, it's surely not helping things, but um. Okay, do you think if he were not there, that they would be key, they would be targeting you and destroying your property? I don't know, sir. Okay, what then? There has to be another reason that you that they would be targeting you. This has been going for on for a while, and I don't has know it, that much about it, other has than it been going that, on since he's been there or before he was there. Um, it's been going on for a while. Okay, that that doesn't help me out, does it? Had had you had problems with property destruction before you uh, lived there? No, well, okay. no. Okay. But I, like I said, I just got siding and put on it, and um. And I uh, surely don't want my siding taken off. <laughs> I, I can understand that. I can appreciate that. Okay. But it seems to me, and, and logically, if you step back and look at this from what you've just said, you did not have problems before he was there. Now you have problems. So it seems to me he's the one creating the problem. No, it's the people on the Internet. Okay. but <laughs> All right. Here's here's the thing. The people on the internet, if they come over and, and destroy your house, if they come over and, and get your siding off your house, okay, there's going to be a 
they they would have to slip up in the point of leaving some kind of evidence, whether that's video evidence, whether that's you know tool evidence, whether that's pictures, who knows what it could be. All right. The problem being is if I tell you I'm going to come break your window, and then something happens and your window gets broke, that still doesn't make me arrestable because it's a coincidence. It's 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 hey, this happened and now it really did happen. Okay, can you just make a report that I called in that that the owner of 339 Lloyd has had two messages stating that they were going to take off my my uh, siding? Can you just make a report, please? I, I can't. I'm just trying to solve this problem for you so you don't have this anguish, okay? I mean, if you, if you, if that's all you want, we could stop there. But I'm, I'm looking for the solution for you. Oh, I'm and, looking for a solution too. But well, uh, right now I I understand just, that. But what I'm saying is, is this, it's, it's going to take it's going to take more than today to solve the problem. Okay? It sounds to me like the problem is the tenant or the tenant's son. Okay? And is he an adult son? Yes. Okay. Even if he is not on the lease. He lives there. He has to be evicted by law. Okay? If the tenant is fine, if she's everything's good, and he's the problem, he still would need to be evicted by law. Okay? Even if, if, if both of them got to go, they both have to be evicted by law. They both have to be named in eviction. Okay? What is your name? Karen Settle. How do you spell that? How do I spell the last name? Yes. Settle. S E T T L E. And what's the phone number for you? Three three zero three eight eight four three seven eight. I was just over at the house yesterday and talked to a, a policeman mm-hmm. because they were having issues. Mm-hmm. So he, I talked okay. to him. I, I'm going to put this. But in but this is yeah. but this is a total but this is a totally a different thing now because. To, just a few minutes ago is when I got them text messages that they wanted to come take my siding off the house. Okay, what from what number do you get did you get the text messages? Uh was I would number, have to Was it a number you recognize? No, I don't know these people. So how did they get your cell phone number? Good question. Well it, it, and I'm gonna say it all goes back to I don't your know, tenant. sir. I'm gonna say it all goes back to your tenant. Do you have any kind of a I'm, I mean, I think that all you have to do is go to the library and um, everybody's numbers should be at the library from what I heard. Well, you, you've heard wrong because I know for a fact there are numbers that aren't in there. Okay. Oh, okay, good. There has, right. to, be, there has to be something simpler than this. And, and the other, let's go to the flip side. Do you honestly think somebody who's threatening to take the siding off of your house is going to go to a library to look up your phone number? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what these guys are doing. Okay, okay. I don't understand any of it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm asking you to use your logical brain, your reasonable brain. Do you think that somebody would do something as as flippant as threaten you to tear siding off of your house would go to a library to look up a phone number to send you a text message? Well, probably not, because I've been getting these phone these okay. phone calls for a while now. So it would. It would but seem this is the first time that they've threatened to take off my siding, though. I, I understand that, but have they? Did they say we threatened to take off your siding and give the address? Do what? When they told you they they're going to take off the siding, did they tell you what address they're going to take it off of? Yes. Okay. So we're narrowing. That's why in a I called. Bit that's here. why we're, I called. We're narrowing. That's in why a I called you. Here. There's a whole lot of information that's known that would only not be known by your tenant. And if they share it with their friends. Or, well, who knows what Chance did. Or the people you hired to put the society on. Was there some kind of problem there that they wanted more? No. Is this a business thing? I mean, because you're, no, you're, you're, you have to look at this from a logical standpoint, and the rational standpoint would be either this, the son that's the problem gave your information to his friends, this he, has to do with the internet. He's. It, what do you mean the internet? What? What? What do you? 
I'm confused. What These mean? guys that are causing the problems are on the internet. These guys? Are on YouTube. YouTubers. So you're saying your tenant doesn't know them at all? Well, I don't... I don't know much about what's going on other than now that I'm getting... Now they're threatening to do stuff to my house. Okay. They've already... Okay. They've already taken all my bricks. I had 100 bricks. Those are all gone. I had uh, fencing up. They came and took my fencing down and was going to take it. Uh, uh, What was your fencing made of? Wood. Okay. And um, so the uh, tenant uh, heard some noises outside, so they were getting ready to take off with it, and she caught them before they left. And she told him to drop it. Okay. And um, so uh, they're they're starting to take my stuff. Um, they already took all her stuff. Now they're taking mine. But she didn't know who was taking the fence. No. Nope. These people just send people out to uh, my address, and they they tell people that hey, it's free. Just go get it. I 